Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac. In this episode, I'm gonna guide you step-by-step step on how to make a delicious and authentic Lyonnaise sauce. Let's begin, shall we? You'll be happy to know that even though this is a classic French style sauce, the prep work is very light. Snag a yellow onion, your trusty blade and a board. Dice it up, you'll need at least one cup or 150 grams. And you know, I know what you're thinking. A French style sauce, it must be hard to make it has such complex flavors, but no. With only five readily available ingredients and this easy to follow recipe, I'm gonna show you how to recreate the flavors of Lyon right in your own kitchen. One ingredient for French sauce recipes that usually would take a long time to make is veal demi-glace. So you know what? I'm gonna show you a cooking technique that'll save you a little time without sacrificing flavor using the store-bought veal demi-glace. Take a heaping spoonful of the veal demi-glace, plop it into a sauce pot. If you like your sauces really, really thick, you might even do two spoonfuls. Add one and a quarter cup of water, that's about 313 milliliters. Turn your burner up to medium heat, grab a whisk, give it a stir, try to dissolve that demi-glace. And from past comments, I know that a lot of people have a hard time finding veal demi-glace in just the regular grocery store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag this product that I'm using to the video just in case you might wanna buy some. For a shortcut demi-glace, this stuff has a natural, authentic taste. So nice work, you dissolved that demi-glace into the water, simmered it for a minute, and now you're ready to roll. See, I told you, not too difficult, right? Chopping an onion, making the demi-glace. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce Lyonnaise. To a saucepan over high heat, drop in one tablespoon, 14 grams of butter, and melt it all the way down. When that butter is piping hot, round up that one cup, or 150 grams, of onion and drop it in. And one thing to consider with this sauce is whether you're going to leave the onions in the sauce, or if you're going to take them out in the end. Either way, it's delicious, it really just depends on personal preference. So if you keep those onions in, just make sure that you cut them the way that you want to eat them. After you've lightly caramelized these bad boys, then you're ready to move on to the next step. And here you go with a French style cooking technique, deglazing the pan with half of a cup, 125 milliliters of white wine. And you'll also want to snag half of a cup or 125 milliliters of white wine vinegar. Crank the burner up to bring this to a simmer. You want to reduce this down until it's pretty much all gone. And it's also a really good time to take a spatula, spoon, or a whisk to scrape the bottom of that pan to release the bits and pieces of onion into the sauce. That's flavor. So I know what you're thinking. This is an easy Lyonnaise sauce to make, but what can I put it on? It really goes great on just about anything. Roasted vegetables, roasted or grilled beef, pork, put it on game, poultry, lamb, just pretty much anything. You can even throw it on bread, put a little cheese on it, knock yourself out. Great work, you removed the alcohol from the wine and you concentrated the flavors of both the wine and the vinegar. Now dump in that easy to make demi-glace. Give it a quick mix, bring the sauce to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, turn that heat down to low and reduce until it's as thick as you like. If you made a thick demi-glace, you might not have to reduce this that long, you just wanna infuse the flavors. I reduced this sauce for about six minutes and whenever you're reducing, if you see impurities on top of the sauce, it's a good idea to grab a bowl and a spoon and skim all that foam and the impurities off the top. You want a nice, neat sauce. And you know, now would be a great time to smash that subscribe button if you'd like to learn new sauce and gravy making tips and techniques. Excellent work, you've reduced the sauce down. You get an A++ for French cuisine. So you can either leave the sauce just like this, nice and chunky, there's nothing wrong with that, or you can strain it out. Grab a fine sieve, strain it into a saucepan, a bowl, or even a gravy boat, whatever you prefer. And I can hear it now. Oh gosh, he's taking those onions out. What's he gonna do? He's gonna throw them away. Nope. You can either just eat them like this, you can put them on a sandwich, put them in meatballs, use them for another dish. They're absolutely delicious. So there you go, Sauce and Gravy Nation. That's a step-by-step -step sauce lyonnaise. Super easy and absolutely out of this world tasty. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that you found this recipe helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.